What's up y'all, it's Mo, and today's video is gonna be all about digital planning. This is a different type of video than I normally film, and I, th I am going to apologize probably for both the quality and the audio, like the visual quality and the audio of this. I'm using my earbuds, you can see the cord right here, to film because we have multiple fans going on and I'm not in my normal filming space. So we have weird lighting happening. Whoops, I just hit the camera. So I hope that this turns out okay. But today we're going to be talking about digital planning and we're gonna be using my Microsoft Surface Book 1, the like an off-brand, pen stylus thing for it and then the um, free PDF annotation app called Zoto. So Zoto is like I said free it's available for Windows and for Android. Um, I don't have an, an iPad as of yet so I'm not going to talk about GoodNotes. You all know that I really like to encourage you to do what you want with what you have and this is what I have. I have a Surface Book thing and I have um, this pin and that's all I've got um, but the good thing about this is if you want to get into digital planning because this is available for Windows you could straight up do it on your like desktop or laptop you don't have to have anything fancy you don't have to have a surface book to do this you can do it on your desktop computer on your laptop whatever and like I said it is available for Android as well and I'll leave a link uh, someone messaged me about different pens and styluses styli styluses it's different styluses <laughs> that you could use um, if you maybe don't have an Apple pencil or something like that or even on your Android and I'll leave a link to some styluses styli stylus a couple of them that I found on Amazon I'll leave it a link below um, and I will recommend I will recommend it there there's more ones well this isn't going to be helpful. There's ones I couldn't find mine because I was going to use it. There's ones like this, but they have like a little pad at the bottom. It's like a little circle and then this is stuck to it. And that's really good for pinpointing. I used to have a stylus like that and I broke it, but I used to have a stylus like that um, that I was using to kind of draw on photos on my iPhone. So I do recommend the ones that look like pens like this and have the really like tiny point, but then have like a pad. And I don't really know if it's a pad but like a piece of plastic at the end those are the ones I recommend so long intro to say let's get into digital planning so like I said I am going to use the Zoto app so I have it installed it's free you can upgrade I have the free version um, I probably I may upgrade just to see what it's like and then um, we'll see if I keep that or not it is a sub if you want to upgrade it is a subscription which is the downside and I think it's like 38 bucks a year um, which is going to be way more affordable than the uh, like $4.99 price or something like that a month. Um, I don't like that it's subscription based. I don't like that a lot of things are now going to subscription based. I wish that um, things would just be a flat price because it's freaking ridiculous. Good notes like on the iPad is a flat price. So anyway, um, I will say once you download, there is a hair on my thing. Once you download your um, your planner, let's go here. When you download your planner, you want to save it somewhere other than your downloads file, your downloads folder, because you're going to end up saving over the file, if that makes sense. You're opening the PDF, you're editing it, and then you're gonna to need to save it. So if you keep it in your downloads folder, you run the risk of cleaning out that downloads folder and deleting your whole file, and then you don't have your digital planner anymore. Um, I'm trying to keep the cord, the uh, mic, out of the frame, but we'll see. Uh, so what I did was I, I also suggest using something like Google Drive. Now there's a dog here. Using something like Google Drive or even, what is it, Microsoft has OneDrive or anything that you can use as a cloud storage option because you don't want something to happen also to like your device and then you not have access to, you know, the digital planner that you've spent ages on not only maybe to make it look pretty because it's a memory planner but maybe you actually use it functionally etc so i saved it to the um this digital planning folder that i made in my google drive and i actually have my planners here and i have long vertical digital planner and actually it's going to open up and this opens up in my default pdf app which is foxit pdf so um once you let's close this Um, we'll go to Zoto. Once you've downloaded it and saved the planner in the area that you want it to be in, you want it to be, 
um, and a place that you're going to remember, a place you're not going to delete it, a place that is safe and houses all of your digital planning stuff. Uh, you'll want to open Zoto and then you'll go to, I believe, this here, which is select files to open. And this is going to have some stickers loaded. This is going to be where you go find your file. Um, I was going to say something. And I don't remember what it was. So you'll just tap on this. You can double tap on it or you can select open. And that's going to open up your um, digital planner onto your screen. So uh, today we're going to go over, you know, how to import it like we did and some, some initial setup of this planner. So I like to firstly go over here. Nope, that's the wrong one. Go over here to view mode. This one here. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say I'm filming this kind of oddly because I found it helpful when I was doing some research for you guys and trying to figure out exactly, you know, what this whole digital planning beast was. Um, it was helpful for me to see people with, you know, their stylus pointing and tapping and whatever and not just a screen shot or screen share, screen cast of, you know, their screen. It was helpful for me to see where they're pointing at and where things are. So go up here to view mode and make sure that vertical scrolling is off. And that's going to allow you to scroll horizontally rather than vertically. As you can see here, I can't go vertical. I can only go horizontally. So do that. Um, vertical scrolling is off. You want to make sure it says single. You don't want to rotate or crop anything. You can go full screen, but you don't need to um, rotate or crop anything. I like to have this here is this pane on the side. I like to have this open because I will kind of go back and forth between some things and like scroll through here or whatnot. Um, but with that, you can, I believe it's this. Yeah, you can make it one column, two column, three columns. You can adjust the sizing. I have it as narrow. You can also change it over to the left if you want to. Let's go back over here to, uh, or change it over to the right. I have it on the, the left, but like I said, you could have like wide if you wanted it. I think that's unnecessary. We'll go here to narrow. Um, there's like bookmarks, outlines, things like that. You don't necessarily. You'll also want to go into the settings from the home page and under annotation, select Silas as pin and turn that off. So you won't be writing all over your page when you don't want to. We need that. I also make sure I pinch to get this to be full screen to the page. I think it loads in something like this and that's, you don't need that. You need it to be down here. And the coolest thing about this PDF is that it is hyperlinked. So I'm going to show you where some of, or all of the links are for this. If you tap the front cover, it's going to open up to a this planner belongs to page and you can see all of the um, the tabs i kind of gave it like a rainbow kind of theme um, and then you'll have a sticker tab and then you also have some information here so if you click on like 516.etsy.com you'll take it to the etsy store you can go to the youtube channel my blog instagram you know all those things and so if let's see you want to watch some youtube tutorials you just go tap on the youtube link and i'll open up in chrome or whatever your default browser is and um, do that. So there are different covers in the shop. Um, you will, I will say because of Zoto, you cannot add and delete and move around pages. It breaks the hyperlinks. I'm not sure of how that works in um, GoodNotes. I think you can add and remove pages, but if you do that in Zoto, the hyperlinks will break and your planner will not be able to flip through anything. So if you, you'll get four, the greatest thing is these are undated. So you'll get four different designs, four different covers, and you just use whichever cover planner that you would like. Um, and then you have four more planners. Obviously you can reuse this one the next year because it's a digital file. You just save it and then download a second one. Um, but you'll get four planners. So technically you could have four years of digital planners if you really wanted to. Um, so there's that. But like I said, tap the cover, you go to this planner belongs to page, you can fill in your name, you can add text, you can write it in, you can use a sticker, whatever you want to do. And then if you tap on the, um, whatchamacallits over here, the the tabs, you'll be taken to, whoops, Zoto shut down for some reason. Let's do this again. Boop. Okay. So if we tap on the different tabs, you will be taken to the start of the different 
months. And you have a, like I said, this is undated. You have a sort of currently page. You could do whatever you want to here. I left this kind of blank where you could add pictures or different stickers, decorate your tabs the way that you would like them to uh, or what way that you would like it to be decorated. And then you can just, once you tap on a, a month, you just tap it again and that opens up to, so that opens up to your, um, monthly page. I don't know why I can't speak tonight. So you have your monthly page. Like I said, you just tap on it like that. And uh, another place that there's hyperlinks are the weeks. So if you want to go to the first week of April, you tap over here and that'll bring you down to the first week of April. You can see that down there. Um, we go, if you want to go back to your uh, monthly calendar, you'll just tap on the month and it'll take you back to April. Then you wanna to go to the fourth week of April, you just tap there and you can see it drops you down to page 29, which is the fourth week of April. We wanna to go to November, we'll go to our November currently and divider page, tap it again. We're at the, um, the monthly page and then we go to the second week of November, that kind of thing. So that's where all of the hyperlinks are. So every month you tap on the month and then tap again and you'll get back to the monthly. Um, you can also navigate between pages this way. So if you touch at the top, you'll just flip through the next page. So you can see it's going from 84 to 85 to 86, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, you can just flip back and forth if you would like. So instead of hitting this, you can hit up here and that'll take you to the monthly go over here. A good thing about Zoto, I don't know about um, uh, GoodNotes, is there's this like back button. So let's say you're working on, I don't know, a spread and you go back to your stickers and you have some stickers pasted in here. I'm going to go through like setting up your sticker book and like everything, but you can import some different stickers. And so you copy, you copy your sticker and instead of going back to July and then tapping this again and then tapping this and getting to your spread then you could just go stickers copy tap this button here go back to your spread paste stickers copy one back to your spread paste so you don't have to be flipping back and forth and all of these things so that's a good part about zoto so if you like i said yep if you want to flip through the different pages you just go this way if you want to go back to the cover you'll go here so that's right over here in this corner. Oops, I'm on the next page, so there's no reason to do that. So in that corner, if you wanna go to the back, to the back cover, you do the same thing over here, and now you're at the back cover. And these are also hyperlinked here. So then, you know, you just do whatever you wanna do. I Like I said, I like to have this open because I will like, I don't know, go between these two things. Um, so like I said, there's a sticker book in the back here and that's accessible on every page every page has that sticker there and you just tap it and it'll take you to the stickers i think you have five pages you have four pages four pages in the back which is really like eight double pages for stickers so you can add your stickers in that you would like to use and you know have your your stickers your like icon stickers the digital i don't know um sticky notes like that kind of stickers and that way you don't have to import them every time you can just copy and paste them uh one of the limitations and i'll probably go into this more in a plan with me one of the limitations with zoto is that you can't if you copy and paste something so if i have the original let's go here i'm gonna import a digital planning stickers Let's go to Paper Shire. You can get a lot of digitals in the Paper Shire um, Facebook group. So let's do this, open. So now I have this here. One, a couple limitations actually, we'll just go over some limitations. So you cannot use your stylus to drag. You have to tap, tap, and then use your finger. But you can use it to scale, etc. If you hit copy, and then we go back over here, let's see, to this, and we hit paste, paste. Something you can't do is then rotate it. You can scale it, um, but you can't rotate or anything. You can only do that to the original. And I have found that's uh, very hard to do with text. So if you're gonna use the text tool and duplicate the text, you're not gonna be able to do that because it'll change both of them. Um, it just, the text is not great in this planner I don't think or in this application I don't think but you can see we scaled this down 
If we go back over here to stickers, that's still the same size. So you don't necessarily have to worry about that, but then you would just place this where you want. You can zoom in, place this where you want here, zoom back out and then, you know, move on with your spread. Um, if you want to type, this is where you can add your image. You just type, tap add image and then you hit that and that's what brings up the little drop box that you can add images from. You cannot drag and drop. So like in GoodNotes, you can drag and drop and Zoto you cannot. Um, but you can hold this down and you can do a circle, a square, a line, an arrow. You can do your text. You can write, um, sign, add a comment or whatnot. I find it's easier to go, if you want to continuously write, you'll want to go up to this edit pane up here and then choose your ink and then, oops, if you want to zoom in to where you want to write and then go choose your ink because it kind of locks it so that you can just pan and then you can write how you want, you know, usually you would turn the page and then there's the eraser. I haven't quite figured out my stylus because there are buttons on here that you can use. One is an eraser, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes I lock myself out of it. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'll turn this a little bit here to do, whoa, some writing. So I would say like, I don't really like my handwriting um, on this. And then I'm gonna hit save so that it stays there. And I'm gonna close out of this and then we can zoom back out. That's what it looks like. You can change the stylus. Um, so we can go up here, this, oops, I made a dot, beep, beep, beep. this, this, change this, the way this looks. I'll turn this back this way so you can see it better. Um, change the thickness, et cetera, of your pen. You cannot pick custom colors. You can only do uh, what is offered, but it goes down to 0.5. So that's rather thin. Oops. Let's go up to one. Oh, that's two, one. This was at two. This was at two right here. If you don't hit save, these will disappear. So then they're gone. So you have to hit save every time when you're writing. Um, same thing with adding sticker kits. You would do the same thing. You would go here, image, image. I'll go over and find one of my sticker kits, 5 sixteenths. We'll add in a full box open. I'll zoom in. Whoops, I moved it. Where are we at? I'll zoom in here. This is just rendering right now. It's not really going to be that blurry. Can drop it. This is, I will have standard vertical and long vertical. Right now I just have long vertical that I'm going over with you guys. Um, so then, you know, you have your full box in there. And you just drop in your elements and plan. I will go up and I have been working on, so here is the autumn. I think it's just called autumn or something in my shop. I don't remember what it's called but it's a long vertical kit. You can see you use it here. This is a standard vertical kit from Print Petticoat Bandit. You can see I don't like, I just filled in some stuff to make some stuff up. I don't like my um, handwriting. I really don't like it. Um, this is like Planner Choco, I think, and it's like a hiking theme, but you can see how, how it all works. Um, and then when you have made your edits and you want to close and save this. You have to save it. I don't believe there is an auto save for Zoto. So you'll want to go in and hit that save button right there. And that's going to save your planner. And then you can actually close this out. Should be able to. Yep. And then this is going to show all your recent open documents. If you have multiple planners or notebooks or something, you can kind of pin your, um, uh, folders, like where you would commonly find your planning stuff. So if I pin that, my planners, it has, it would have all, all their planners in it right now. It just has that one. Um, or digital planning, I have um, my sticker book, digital sticker book. There's a sticker book in the shop as well. So we can open that up. And let's make sure this is on, yeah, vertical scrolling is off. Okay. Um, so I have this and I have actually am populating this works the same way. You tap the cover, you can go to the next page, 
these are all hyperlinked. Then we can go back to index, Papershire. We're on Papershire. This pink goes to this pink. So I'll just tap over here on my Papershire stickers. And again, I could just go like this, copy. Um, actually, we can go back to home. Uh, open documents, recent documents, this. So now I have my uh, planner and my sticker book open. And I can come back over here and hold this down and go paste. And then it pastes in. Whoops, forgot I can't move with my stylus. And then size it how I want it to size. And then write whatever I need to write there. And then again, I would make sure I hit save because you never know what could happen. Um, so I think that is it. I think that is the basics of the digital planner with Zoto. I hope that you found this video a little bit helpful. Um, and like, oh, I didn't mention, you can also do like um, monthly stuff too. So, you know, put down your monthly stickers. It's sized for what this long vertical one is. It's sized for long vertical stickers, but as you can see, I used standard vertical stickers and it works fine. And I also think this was a standard vertical um, sticker kit as well. Um, so, and it fit, it fit pretty well. So you can use it for whatever. I like the way that standard vertical looks. Um, so there is that. If you like this video, uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. You can find this planner and long vertical planners, or I'm sorry, standard vertical planners and the sticker book in the shop. It's 516ths.etsy.com. I will leave it down below. Um, I'm also gonna have some videos on how to take some of your digital kits and turn them into, or like printable kits and turn them into digital stickers. Uh, I'm gonna have some kits in the shop that are digital stickers. And yeah, just keep a lookout for more digital content from me and I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.